I'm not where I'm supposed to be But there's so much noise around So much noise around Constantly fighting for space I wanna be empty Be empty Be empty Hi guys! So let me help you understand further on how to watch the readings. So remember, this is going to be based on Vedic sidereal astrology, not Western. So if you're watching this from your sun sign, then the resonance of the energy will be happening on a soul level. Now, if you are watching this from your ascendant, then from ascendant, it's happening towards the physical manifestation of the reading. And then, if you are watching this on your moon sign, then this is going to be resonating from your feelings, your mind, and your thoughts. Now, for the people who are looking for that masculine energy, then you would have to look for Jupiter in your chart so that you will know how the energy works. And then, if for the people who are attracted to the feminine energy, then you would have to look for Venus. Now, do remember that Venus also rules the energy of the relationship, so that would be also helpful for you. Now that you guys are all set, thank you very much, and let's begin with your reading. Hi, Scorpios. Welcome to my channel. We're doing your reading. Of course, I'm standing, like what I mentioned before, but nobody was paying attention when I was just doing my hand thingy. Okay? So... You won't see the cards because I'm far, okay, and I'm standing, okay, just to give you guys heads up. You might be uncomfortable, just letting you know, because I'm standing up. So you might get like, oh my god, like you're making me dizzy, okay? Then sh I should have opened Burger King, so you can have it your way. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Kidding. Here we go. Let's see what's going on for the Scorpios. All right, so we got two ca cards over here, and I will use the big one first, and then we'll follow with this one. All right, so here we go. Let's see. Begin. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's for the Scorpios. Okay. Scorpios. Let's see. Got a two of wands. Wondering, you know. Oof. You know, see, look, look at this. Like, someone is just about to step into the unknown, you know? This can be your the other person, like, looking forward. I mean, well, the person is looking forward, yeah? Mm -hmm. Looking forward to something, it's just like, you know, because this is the half of the fourth ones, right? So it's just like, I'm stepping in here, and what about the other person? Okay. So, the relationship is halfway moving forward. I sense the movement, yes. I sense the wondering also, like, this is just you. There's no one else between you and this person. Because two of ones, they choose you like a Pokemon. Okay? Let's see. Let's see here. Six of Cups. That's good. You're wondering, Sally's this person coming back. The Six of Cups says, says so. Not me. <laughs> I only draw the cards. Two of ones with the Six of Cups. They wish to be with you. Okay? They want to be with you. Yeah, that one. Because they feel happy. Yes? Okay. Is there separation? Yes. Because if there's someone coming back, then you guys are not together. Clear? Mm -hmm. Six of Cups. The Six of Cups is also an energy where the familiarity between the two of you, everything seems light when you guys are, you know, when you guys are together. Younger and older. It can be Leo, of course. Watch the Leo reading. They got the bonus one if you're connecting with the Leo. Empress card, okay. Venus over here, Taurus, Libra. This person, the only thing that they have dreamed of is, I feel like just to be next to you, just to be with you. Again, it can be vice versa if you're a bro, okay? Because this person is very loving in nature. Very, very kind. I'm not saying that it's not you, but this can be you, Scorpio, just so you know, okay? 
someone is just so kind and respected. The Empress is here. Like, it's just wonderful energy. Very loving. I like this person. Uh -huh. But they don't take much action because that's the Empress. They don't make move. Seven of Pentacles, yeah, they don't know. So now you're just waiting. They're also, I sense you're not here. I sense this is them. I sense they're waiting for you. Because this is, uh, this is very significant because it's like, you guys are already something good going on, but things was just here. It wasn't able to cross to the next stage or the next level, but the person is being patient or you're being patient here, okay? Next to the Seven of Pentacles, Temperance, being patient. <laughs> Which, I don't know, it was Taurus reading, I feel like, being patient. There was a, there was a specific, watch which reading, because it was, it was Leo also, I feel. Like, yeah, it was Leo, I think. Because they, they got the Seven of Pentacles, and then the fourth one's underneath it. And it was all because someone was able to practice what Saturn is telling us. To be patient. Because if it's going to be given, it's going to be given regardless. So we sit down like an empress. We don't do much, you know. We continue to um, embody, you know, caring, our, caring for ourselves. And then during the time, then this person walks in. He's right here. He's very positive energy here. Oh. Ace of Swords. If you could be waiting for a communication from this person, it's right here. That's a message. That's a text message. It's an email. Mm -hmm. so it can be travel also because the Ace of Swords is application for any travel documents. Okay. And they the Six of Cups. So they will message you. Three of Pentacles. They're just focusing on work right now. This is going to be the message. It's like I was just working. I'm focusing on my coins. I want to be with you. But my mind right now has a lot of projects. You're okay, going. This is also communicating about communication about um, you know working and learning how to build the foundation of the relationship. Page of Cups. Very sincere, younger person. I don't sense immaturity with the Page of Cups. I sense childlike, I sense innocence, I sense purity with the Page of Cups. It can be younger water sign, or you are the younger water sign. Magician. It's almost like I have all these things that I wanna, you know, I wanna provide in the table. That's a magician. Because they got a lot, a lot of things. And they will say it's like, okay, I know now how to make it work. I know that I need to step forward. They're learning because that's a magician also. They learned already. So expect this person to take action now. As above, so below. Two of one. See? It's like the two of you are just looking at each other from a distance. From a distance. The ocean meets the stream. So you guys are far from each other. Waiting for someone who, who makes the step, basically. The Empress is not, which is nat natural. The Magician will. And so it shall be done. The Sun card. Sun is moving from Cancer, uh, from Gemini to Cancer. And this is 15, 16, which is the actual placement. Leo Rising is here also. Hmm. This is where the Eclipse has happened a week ago. Okay. Gemini, basically. So it's transformation right now. Expect the good news. I told you, it's very positive. Mm. Of course. Truth is coming out. Get a Seven of Swords. I don't expect anything less from a Scorpio reading when there is no Seven of Swords. Let's see. Because someone is going to express the truth. Let's see what is this truth. Six of Wands. They're coming to see you. Okay. They're coming to see you. But the sign with the Seven of Swords, this person will, you'll be surprised on what this person 
didn't tell you something something unexpected basically because the two of you are here something unexpected okay so I'm gonna continue this reading guys link down there in the description box for the extended and we'll see what is the unexpected coming your way have a wonderful wonderful day Scorpios bye they miss you you miss them hmm that's legit they love you. Ace of Swords with the Lover's card. They want to be with meant of making, you know, things move forward. Ace of Wands.